Wow. Someone's becoming a father yeah. soon. Wow. I can see it from your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Let us bring back the discussion back to earth. You know, we've been like so far away. Let us be... Let us come back to reality and talk about things that Tom will be very happy about. Yeah. Let's oh. talk about driving a stick. Yeah, come okay. yeah. That's oh. your favourite, right? Oh, is yes. it still relevant and does it still have a place in our automotive industry? It still has a place in my heart, I would tell you that much. My, my car for the last 10 years has, have, has been a manual transmission. Yeah. What about you, Tom? But I'm a big fan of manuals, but I mean, it's definitely getting less and less relevant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you guys a very simple question. Mm -hmm. Your family members, mm -hmm. your relatives, mm -hmm. Can you tell me if any of them are driving a manual car, manual tra transmission car? Not since the Do you last know any years. of them that actually still has a manual driving car? Mm. No? None that I can name. No. None you can name, right? Yeah. In fact, I, I've, I've known millennials who have never known of a manual transmission car. Correct. They've never driven one. You know, because you've never seen that. Now you can now now in Malaysia you have you have automatic driving license really. Right? Yeah, you exactly right. right? Yeah. So, in that sense, where does <coughs> manual cars stand at this point in time? You know, are we gonna see it obsolete actually, very soon? Maybe say ten years down the road. Actually, don't don't talk about hmm. millennials. Even let's talk about our fraternity. Right now, right. An auto, a motoring journalist can actually enter our fraternity yeah. without, without needing to know how to drive a manual transmission right. car. Right. Even many race drivers can't drive manual cars because they come from full cars. Yeah. They've never, you know, actually driven a manual car. Okay. But I just lay it down first. Uh, I have seven years of experience driving a manual car. My Mine first... is ten years in car. Okay. Tom probably has more. <laughs> my first seven years. As long years as was I have a... my license, actually. Yeah. But Tom, what do you think about living? living day-to-day -day with a manual transmission. A lot of people, when I tell them that I drive a manual car day-to-day, -day, they say, hey, Jam, not tired. Lah. But for me, I don't feel that. I don't yeah. feel that at all. If you like it, if you drive well, there is no way you're going to be tired. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. True. I think there's more enjoyment in driving mm -hmm. a manual because there's more things you can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can control the car better and, you know. I, I still think that there is a satisfaction in getting your heel and toe yes, down right. changes correct. But I mean, you can do, but you other people can't do. I can't. I, mean, I, I, I never get tired of, of getting that gear change right. You know? I never get tired of that. Always perfecting. Huh? Oh yes, oh yes. I mean it's like when you approach a corner, blip yeah. the throttle, clutch in, bam, bam. That's that satisfaction, it's right? How, no automatic, however well calibrated, can give. Not true though. PCT and all can do that. Yeah, 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 true. But okay, let's you see that's the thing I would like to say. I think modern automatics, right? Uh when you, whether you talk about the torque converters or the DCTs, right? If you talk objectively in terms of uh, performance, performance, right? Modern automatics have become superior to manual transmission. Yep. Okay. Being Twenty, faster in, 20 in... years ago, when when we still had three and four speed automatic transmissions, mm -hmm. the argument against automatic at that time was, oh, uh, 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 under power, yeah. um, heavy yeah. fuel consumption, but. As we went on, as we moved on from four speeders to five, six, seven mm. multi-speed transmissions, right? That gap in performance and economy between manual and automatics are are, are increasingly narrow. Yes. Mm. To the point where, right, um, in some cases, your automatic transmission actually gives you better either performance or better fuel, fuel economy, economy or both mm. than a man, than the, than the manual. So in in that regards. Mm -hmm. Manual cars are irrelevant. Would you, would you put it that way? You will definitely not match any DCT of the day or automatics mm. for that matter. No. Performance-wise, if you talk about the numbers, right, is you, the a modern automatic will outperform a manual any day, mm. any day. The only reason why I would still want to drive a manual car is because I enjoy the process. But in all measurable metric, uh, an automatic car of today will give you better performance for sure. Can a Automatic transmission cars simulate the kind of experiences that uh, manual trans transmission does. You know that gear shift and that kind of stuff. Will, will we? Will we? You know, will, will we go there someday? You know, mm. just to to keep that whole uh, you know nostalgic feeling about. For me, it's you know, different. Uh. For me, it's different. I don't know about Tom, but these days, whenever I drive an automatic car, right, an automatic test car, right. Last time when I when I first 
started my career as a motoring writer, right? Whenever I get an automatic car with the pedal shifters, I sure use them. Bah, 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 yeah. Very fun. Now I just if I if I drive an automatic, I leave the thing in D. At most, I'll go DS sport mode. Mm. That's it. Those are the only two decisions I'm interested to make when I drive an automatic car. In fact, I would go as far as say that if your car needs me to use the pedal shifters on a regular basis, track driving aside, pedal shifters on a regular basis, it means that your transmission, as far as I'm concerned, is not well calibrated enough. I think yes and no. Whenever I drive a car with a pedal shift, I will use a pedal shift for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My two hands will always be on the steering, mm -hmm. ready to shift whenever mm -hmm. I want. Yep, yep. So for example, on a highway, as I approach a slower car, I might just drop a gear. Mm -hmm. yep. Just so that I can just, you know, mm -hmm. coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like maybe that's the driving, it's the driving style. So in a way, the modern pedal shift can replace a manual mm -hmm. car, uh, manual transmission, because it does give you that sensation of uh, gear shift. It yep. does keep for you as well. Yep. It's just that you don't have that clutch pedal. You don't have that involvement. Yes, the leg, the leg part. The, the leg work is yeah. not there. Yeah. 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 It makes you feel more of a man. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. But let me, let me draw you an example. Uh. Let's, we, I want to draw an example. The previous generation BMW 5 Series, mm. the F10. When the five suite, when that when the F10 was first launched in 2009 or 2010 in Europe, lah, all variants of the five series, you can either ha have it in with a six-speed manual or the ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. Okay. A BMW engineer I spoke to last year told me that when they first launched the F10 in Europe, the take-up rate for manual transmission was 50%, mm. half. Means that half of all F10 buyers at the start of the model life cycle took manual transmission. Mm. But towards the when when towards the end of the F ten's model life cycle in twenty sixteen, right, the take up rate dropped to five percent. Wow! So it means that in one model cycle, right, the demand for manual transmissions, as far as the BMW five series was concerned, went down tenfold. Mm. Went down by tenfold. So by now, if you want to go, you go to a BMW showroom, you ask for a manual transmission. Well, in Malaysia, F10. BMW don't offer. Uh, BMW don't offer manual. Yeah, manual, right? exactly. Except maybe the M two, right? I think around the world, even M2, they, they are not bringing in. The, ah, yeah, they don't. So if you want a manual transmission car, either a Honda, a um, Renault Megane, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not many options out there anymore. No. no. So it's like a demand and supply. Yeah. And if you ask me, right, kind if you are driving an Econobox, uh, let's say like you're driving a Myvi or an Azia, right, mm. there is actually no point going for a manual transmission. Maybe yes, because mm -hmm. in those cars, the automatic transmission is not as. You know. It's fun what? Nimble, small car, No, but you see, the thing is the that the, 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 exactly. the, the, yeah. at, that, at that level, right, it, it, like today, right, the, the performance and economy gap is quite small already. That mm. I don't see the point. The only reason I would drive a manual transmission today is because I enjoy it. If I want a car that's just to get about for, for you know, just as a point, a, a commute, comm, commuter, right, I would choose an automatic too. Mm. But there is always room for a manual transmission in my Porsche. Now. But as for if you will miss manual transmissions in the future, I think we will all get used to it. Yeah. Like you'll, you'll, you'll eventually just... You we'll just forget about the good old like everything, manual yeah. transmission yeah. and just <coughs> stay along with uh, you know, whatever that is coming ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? but just like using a keypad on your phone before. Yeah, but yeah, now you yeah. don't, you just touch. Yeah, now it's... Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my comparison would be a uh, cassette tape player mm. we used to listen to and then it become a CD and then now MP3, you know. Even though some, there are still collectors of uh, cassette uh, tape players and, you know, vinyls and stuff like that. But, you know, we're just moving ahead with time. It's more, I guess it's, at the end of the day, it's a better drive with a automatic transmission. La. By all means, I mean, in like fuel consumption, the speed, and all that yeah. is 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 a better drive yeah. la, compared to a manual. Especially uh, when you have when you have you know uh, fast shifting DCTs. Yeah. Or multi speed eight nine speed automatic transmissions where <clears throat> your your traditional five or six speed manual won't offer the same kind of performance anymore. Mm. Yeah. And in recent and and in in recent times, right. Torque converter automatics have become very, very robust to a point where a torque converter automatic actually can take, can handle more torque mm. than a manual transmission. Mm. Yeah, like the C63. Mm. C63. Or the example, next M5. The next M5. Yeah. Okay. Actually, there's another another thing about manual transmission. Mm. Traditionally, 
we have always seen manual transmission as a lower cost, mm. lower cost transmission. But I read some I read uh, some time back that it is getting more expensive as time progresses mm. to to develop a manual transmission variant because of the low take up rate. Because like you see right, we are we are we are moving towards more uh, in, automatics are getting more and more popular. Mm. Okay, so it means that the take up rate for manuals is becoming less and less Correct. and less and less. Right now, when automakers develop a manual variant of a car, they are having an increasingly less for sure amount of cars to distribute that and recoup their development. De- demand and supply. Correct. Yeah. Correct. That's why hence, hence you are saying that it's going to be more expensive to purchase a manual car soon Correct. in the future, right? Right. Possibly. Yeah. Mm. Like a Porsche, yeah. like Kong said, the no-cost option. Yeah. If you were to opt for the manual instead of the PDK, mm-hmm. you don't get your money back. Yeah. 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 Correct. Correct. Well, but in, in the in the Porsche's case, you get a seven-speed manual transmission. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Still, it's a manual. Yeah, yeah true. But actually, I would like to bring uh, my experience a few years ago. Mm. I when I went for the Volkswagen Golf Seven International Media Drive uh, in 2012, I tried the the. In Malaysia, we only get the Golf 7 with DSG. Mm. But during that drive, I also tried the car with manual transmission. And there's this feeling in me as I drove the cars, right? Back to back, right? There's this feeling in me that the car just somehow feel better suited. Is it an manual? For to DSG. Right, right. right. To DSG. Right. Because the way mm. the, the engine's power delivery is, mm. is, is, is given, right? Somehow a DSG manages better. I mean, okay. it's not that I don't enjoy driving mm. a manual transmission. I love driving a manual transmission, but modern cars are becoming the, the characteristics yeah. of modern cars are actually increasingly better suited to, to, to an automatic. automatic. Yeah. Then again, some manual cars are better for you know enjoyment, and some are more operational yeah. purposes. Of course, like mm. the Golf, more operational would be. But yeah. mm. let's say it was a BMW, mm-hmm. you definitely drive better manual. Mm. Mm. True. 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 Or even you even say a Civic Type R or a yeah, for, for or sure, a, yeah. Or a, uh, what you call it, uh, Gun RS, mm. Gun RS, Mazda MX. Yeah, for example. I, I think, but I, I still like the good old days where cars are not so complicated. Yeah, just manual course. gearbox. Don't have so many gadgets and buttons yeah. to worry about. Yeah. It's low maintenance in that sense. You know, I I was like looking at uh, the Mazda NA. Mm-hmm. It's bare bone. Yeah. Basic car, easy yeah. to maintain. Oh, yeah. You know, so we kind of miss those kind yeah. of cars, like When you know the newer cars these days are all getting more and more su- souped up. You know, yeah. you no. Know, for me, the closest I've gotten to say to automotive orgasm, right, is is the manual change of a Civic Type R FD2. Oh yeah, that one. Oh. Never tried, but I can imagine. I mean, I I, I I've never driven the mm. FD2 out on road, but I tro- I drove it on track. For uh, one of a Honda event many years back, and oh, that gear change is just super sweet. Yeah. Bang, 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 and it's 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 mm-hmm. short, it's nice, it's precise, and that is how a manual sh- manual mm-hmm. transmission yeah. should be. Because I think moving forward, right, manual transmissions are no long should no longer be treated as the economy option anymore. It is purely <coughs> the enthusiast experiential option. sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's for the experience. The satisfaction of rowing through each gear, getting your gear changed right, getting your heel and toes, your tot- mm. throttle bl- blipping right. That one is, that is an experience to savor for me. Mm. Yeah. Bob recently did a video where he went around the bus track in the FD2R. Yeah. Uh, his, his footwork video went on car throttle. Yeah. Yeah, when I grow up, I want to be like Tom Go. Exactly. <laughs> we all want to be like Tom Go. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, right, I think there are a lot of these young uh, drivers today that has probably never seen mm. how a manual transmission car how it works how it works and how it actually looks like the pedals mm. you know. yeah. so we get I get comments like a lot of these comments in fact about what the third pedal is for <laughs> the most left pedal if you're asking yeah. what is it for <coughs> and this Civic Type that was driving the FT2 had that foot rest mm. so they thought it was four pedals four pedals uh. so yeah so, so today we get this kind of uh, comments yeah uh, that shows how relevant manual transmissions are today. Yeah, you know, yeah. speaking of that footrest, right? I think a lot of people don't don't realize this, but that footrest, uh, 
Actually, it's important for manual cars as well. Right? It is. It is. So you don't ride the clutch. Yeah. Mm. You know, even you don't have to, and it because also helps of, you to, yeah, you know, to brace, mm. to brace. brace. Because mm. some cars are uh, some of the the lower end car, the man, they they drop the footrest in the manual versions, and I don't like that. Mm. Yeah, then you don't know where to put your foot. Yeah. yeah. Like the Fiat 500 doesn't have it. Okay, what what other advantages, you know, that you 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 will miss driving in a manual car? People can't steal my car. Yeah. Can't steal your car. There's this meme going around recent in the recent year. Yep. That if you, the best security you can get for a car, is to buy a manual car. Okay. Yeah. yeah not many people can. Even the thieves can't drive it. <laughs> but I think that's that's yeah. It's it's going to happen. It's gonna make, that's that's very true in in the US, I think, because they have a lot of their population are, are, yeah. are automatic owners. Mm. Yeah. Even LSM cars, they only they, they can opt to take uh, automatic. automatic. Right. Yeah, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. correct. Yeah. yeah, in fact, I think where it used to be where you need to take a test for a manual mm. car. Yep. It's because you know what if in the future you you, you are required to drive a manual car yeah. and there's no automatic available. Correct. Today, correct. Yeah. Most cars are automatic. Yeah, I, I actually didn't know that. You can actually uh, opt for a automatic go, driving license. Now, the now. next time you drive past a, mm. a those, one of those L cars, you can see whether the at the back there they will label a manual or auto. Ah, oh. because I remember those days they yeah. have automatic uh, cars for uh, for tests as well, but they need you to learn how to drive a manual first or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think driving a manual car is still a good skill to have for anybody. Mm. Okay, let me ask you guys a question. So you're gonna have a kid soon, right? Yeah. Would you want your child to experience driving a manual car? Of course. Before going to uh, automatic of course. car? If, you, if there are still any available. If he or she wants to <laughs> if he or she wants me to pay for a driving license, you're gonna you're gonna do manual. manual. If you want to do auto only, go and pay for it. Pay for it yourself. <laughs> I think like why I said gotta pass my test first. Yeah. The daddy te- daddy's yeah. test first. Daddy's test is learn how to drive a state. Yeah. Mm. Through the cones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I think manufacturers today, especially like <coughs> Porsche and even Nissan, I think at one point was first to introduce uh, ref auto, match. yeah, ref auto match, match, auto blipping manual transmission, mm. where you don't need to heel and toe, mm-hmm. just drop the clutch, mm. and the car will just ref. Mm. Yeah, even a new type one has that. Yes, mm. but it might be dangerous for newbies mm. if they were to jump into another another manual car without mm. the feature uh-huh. and if they were to drop the gear uh-huh. might just uh, lock a wheel mm. yeah but how do people downshift with those who, how do those who do not know how to heal and throw or blip the throttle downshift they will release the clutch slowly mm. can do that yeah it's quite interesting that con brought up how would someone drop gear mm. drop a gear i mean uh, shift gear down mm. without and towing. Of course, the way I look at it, right, it's it's very difficult, you know. You are aware of your clutch, man. I think all of us begin that way. Uh, yeah. Mm. When when exploring manual transmissions. Mm. I remember when I was driving my dad's five series manual. That's how I started learning H and T. Mm. So when you drop a gear, mm. when I drop that, that gear from third to second, and then that it put epiphany struck me. Oh. Mm. And, can, and 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 your and yours was a real view drive. Oh. Yeah, exactly. And, not yeah. around the corner, right? I hope. At one point, it was, and I had that sleep. Oh. So all these aspects, you know, mm. sort of uh, helped me like the action of feeling Nice. So you actually learn your driving skills from your dad. You started off. Most of you it. You see the one that teach you how to do the, the tricks and stuff. My dad definitely taught me how to drive properly mm. in the street, but. Yeah, from then on, that's how my interest in cars started. Mm. I don't know whether I can say this, but I think manual transmission drivers are better drivers. What do you think? I think there's a point to it, okay? Because when you are when you are accustomed to driving a manual car, mm. you have greater awareness on how the different gears impact the vehicle's behavior. Correct. Mm. Because you didn't just get to that speed by your, by, right. by itself. You know that you know that what happened. You know that at a lower gear. Okay, let's say you you get more acceleration. Mm. Okay, when you're slowing down for a corner, a lower gear allows you to shift more weight on the to the front of the car and gives you better better turn. Right. Yeah. Higher gear means that you have better cruising, mm. but you lose out on your acceleration. Mm. You you can actually 
experience it like you know firsthand how this like changing gear really feels like exactly. compared to uh, you know straight on going into automatic where it's so seamless changing gears is just you know it is it's almost unnoticeable it's yeah. almost yeah you can't notice it sometimes yeah. you know yeah. and yeah. It, it like what tom says it it focuses your driving yes mm. it focuses yeah. you yeah right man yeah. Mm. <laughs> and, and it somehow helps in terms of now we have parachuters mm. somebody who has never driven a metal car and Correct. Yeah, yeah. Correct. It's not about not knowing to downshift. It's not. It's about knowing when. Yes. Mm. It's about knowing yeah. when or why. Yeah. <laughs> or why. Yeah. So parachuters, there. Most of the people who don't know how to drive metal car, they yeah. Mm. But then again, I also like what I what I mentioned previously. I now when I jump into a, a car with pedal shifters, I also rarely use the pedal shifters. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. You just let it. In <clears throat> but that is that is mm. that is assuming that the car has a well, sufficiently well calibrated transmission. Mm. So Tom, you are known as the racer, the driver amongst the motor journalists, right? Yeah. So do you have some tips for us on how to drive a manual transmission car like yourself? Like me. How to drive like Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of uh, people have trouble sinking the clutch and throttle mm. when they shift and they always find the jerk whenever they release the clutch okay a lot of people right okay um, they associate the action of blipping the throttle or heel and toe mm. downshifting with more motorsports application mm. but i look at it as a way of driving smoother and also preserving the the life of the clutch. Mm -hmm. What do you first feel? I think it's true. And how would I would how I would normally drive a manual transmission is I would always assume that there's passenger with me, mm -hmm. and I want to keep them as comfortable as mm -hmm. I can. Mm -hmm. um, that would mean smooth gear change, seamless changes, mm -hmm. uh, gear shifts. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think yes, definitely. The bleeping will help, the heel and toe will help yeah. mm. to smoothen mm. your down mm. tips. Yeah, I think if anybody wants to improve how they drive a manual transmission is mm. to visualize that they have a passenger on board. Oh. But would it would it yeah. help uh, prolong the durability of your clutch? Prolong? I'm as in like, you know, help preserve your clutch. By heel and toe, definitely. Mm. Um, I think I've used, I've I've ever used my, I've ever had the clutch on my car not being replaced for five years, four years. Oh, that's okay, right? Mine, mine. I just replaced my clutch recently after ten years for the first time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least, at least after, about uh, hundred and I clocked about hundred and seventy thousand kilometers in on in the on the factory clutch. Yeah. Um, ah, that's exactly like. My 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 driving style very gentle. And mm. But I mean driving so you fast. You got full load of passenger in your car, right? Mm. Oh no lah, no. <laughs> no when I when I when I have when I actually have a full load of passenger in my car, my driving is different. How uh, how different? Uh, Tiptoe. More, more more even more careful. Way right? more defensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you get a Yes yes, I, I make it a habit. I make it a habit. Yeah. Definitely a good skill to learn mm. it's more like an art but i still don't get it right all the time though. especially when i move uh move from move to a different car there is that acclimatization mm. process mm. in, in you know, always to yeah. the to the 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 pedal travel mm. and also the throttle response mm. the pedal travel of the clutch mm. mostly the bite point of the clutch mm. and also the response sensitivity of the brakes mm. Mm. Part as well. Yeah. I now I feel that. like driving a manual car. I can imagine how sweet it is to, you know, shift gear mm. seamlessly. The satisfaction that you get every time when you get that gear change correct, right, correct. right, is is it, you cannot replace it. Really. Correct. Yeah, you cannot replace it. Really. It's like your your own effort. Mm. You know, not not so much like an auto transmission when yeah. it goes up gears by itself, right? Yeah. Correct. You know, because every time you initiate it, it's like a ceremony. Mm. It's not yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. It's not like a one step, one step. It's all at once. Yeah. 
So, you know. <laughs> the hand leg coordination, right. you know. You know, a lot of people tell me, right, um, man, driving a manual car is very tiring in the gym. But mm. I've been doing it for 10 years. I don't feel, I don't feel that tired. What about Even you? now, like now, no, of age no. already, becoming a father soon? No, no. Not, at not at all. I mean, I, I, I do not... Okay, la, towards the, the last couple of years, as my, as my car's clutch was wearing out, the, the weight was getting heavier. So it was getting a bit tiring to yank that heavy clutch. But now that I, now that I switched to a new clutch, it feels lighter. It doesn't, doesn't uh, bother okay, me at all. Okay. What about you, Tom? Mm. No, driving manual cars never bothered me at all. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I get that statement a lot about how difficult it is to drive a manual car, especially in traffic. Mm -hmm. But honestly, to me, it's actually easier. Ah, really? Yeah. How, how, how is it? I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's a very unusual mm. viewpoint in this day and age. But I do like to hear okay. what you say. Because now, in traffic, you have to crawl as right. the traffic moves, right? Mm -hmm. And in a manual car, all you need to do is release a clutch mm -hmm. and your car will just crawl. Yeah. Okay. Whereas, or if you need to, I don't know, maybe protect your lane, mm -hmm. right? From people coming in, mm -hmm. it's easier in a manual car. Yeah. It's more well, accurate, yeah. precise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's that's assuming you have, you have. Oh yeah, but you're Tom Go, so your footwork no. is spot on. Uh, okay. Not exactly. Though. I think anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, rather than relying fully on the throttle mm -hmm. in an automatic car, you have a clutch in a manual car that you can sort of augment your. Um, mm -hmm. Your means that you. What you're saying is that the you you can fine tune your, exactly, yes. your crawling. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. But then you need to use more effort. But when you... When Not exactly. I mean, no? if you're already Compared driving a manual car, mm. it's no effort. Yeah. It's just, yeah. you know, basic instinct. I agree with you, but for the, for, the, for, the, um, for the sake of debate, okay, I'm going to take the counterpoint. If you're driving a top converter automatic, a yeah. conventional automatic, all you have to do is just release the brake and the car will, yeah. will crawl itself. In a way, of course. Yeah. But in our traffic today where, you know, you got people trying to uh, mm. cut into a lane. Right. This is where it, it matters. But I, I do agree with your point uh, more prominent, uh, pertinently when it comes to dual clutch dual, dual clutch transmission mm -hmm. and also CV clutch based CVTs. Right. Mm -hmm. Because the sometimes the mechatronic control engagement and it's disengagement lagging. of the lag, clutch, yeah. it lacks the finesse of mm. a human right. mm. clutch. Of course it doesn't matter if you don't appreciate finesse or like mm. fine driving, fine, mm. you know, um, crawling through traffic mm. if you don't mind like that jerk go yeah, and I stop mind that it's fine jerk, yeah, yeah. right exactly so if you have a manual transmission you can you know pinpoint uh, accurately yeah judge correct. Your, mm. your correct. Your velocity correct but correct. you try driving a manual car jam from Shah Alam all the way to KL Federal Highway after, Not a problem. after a session you feel like you just went to the gym and had a leg workout Not sometimes exactly. like, I, I, I feel that way those days because I drive old manual cars yeah. those days when my dad used to buy for us old beat up manual cars and the clutch is it's heavy you know so when i when i play futsal i shoot with my left leg okay <laughs> okay but i think it's all about the technique yeah, yeah. 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 if you yeah. if you you use the wrong technique it's definitely going to tire you correct yeah correct i should that. have known you earlier tom yeah. so you can teach me how to drive <laughs> a manual car yeah. properly yeah. <laughs> but speaking of that right uh i mean those for those of you who watch football remember Reading a few years ago, uh, Manchester United player Ryan Giggs, mm -hmm. guy is a huge car, mm -hmm. uh, a car guy also. Apparently, his doctors ordered him off manual transmission cars just so that to, to minimize his chances of injury. Manual cars are detrimental to your health. No, only if. Only, uh, no, <laughs> In a way. I think, no, you see, I think he <laughs> was. Using more body parts <laughs> to. Someone to, like to Ryan work. Giggs is probably driving, you know, those. Right. Maybe a. Uh, Truck, uh, high performance cars with very yeah. with he very heavy duty clutches. Uh, yeah, that's. But if you are driving like a more mainstream kind of car, nowadays clutches are very light. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <coughs> True. But unfortunately, it's hard to come by these days. Mm -hmm. I mean, manual car. Yeah, new manual car. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Even God also is like all the check eye spec ones. Yeah. It's either the the really check eye spec one or the or the high end spec one that. Mm. That you know, a lot of people cannot afford. So there's something I realize uh, mm. some people do sometimes when I get into a friend's car mm. and they perform this uh, motion where they would try to ride on a clutch when they are going uphill. They want to do a skill. La, wow. yeah, they're, they're balancing balancing yeah. their clutch and throttle. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they want to show that 
They don't need to use the brake. I yeah. can hold the car mm. on the Correct. Key. Without you. Uh, Actually, it's quite satisfying when if you're able to balance it. It's not uh, so satisfying when, yeah. you have to, when you have to bring your car in early for a clutch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not right. You didn't do that. Yeah. Because you know, the only reason or the only time you should use the clutch is when you're getting off the line or you're shifting gear. Correct. Mm. Correct. Because when, you're hold, when you hold the car stationary mm. and Correct. you ride the clutch, right, you are adding unnecessary wear and tear to your Correct. clutch. Mm. And one of the biggest, the, the most high cost item in maintaining a manual transmission car is changing the clutch. Mm. Because when you change the clutch in a manual transmission car, you actually have to decouple the engine and transmission. Mm. And that's a lot. And that, and that one, uh, the labor charges are, are always very high. One. Mm. Correct. So, you, you do, you, so as much as possible, you want to, to lengthen the life of your clutch plate, not shorten it unnecessarily. Mm. Mm. I mean, just use your handbrake, mm. you know, and you ready to move, release it. You go. Or even hold it with your foot brake or so, it's fine. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. If you can, just... Yeah. And I think if, let's say like, I mean, if you are, if you are skillful enough, right, a slight rollback doesn't harm the car. Yeah, mm. true. Slight rollback. Mm. I mean, it, harm, it harms you from, you, you don't want the car to roll back when, right. you're, when you're doing a JPJ hill test. But out in the road, right, if let's say your car were to roll back slightly, mm. it's okay. Correct. Yeah. But the easiest way to move off from a, uh, heel would be to keep your handbrake on. Yeah. Mm. Release yeah. the clutch and, release, and the, the yeah. gas, and when the car starts to move, just release your yeah. handbrake. But it's it's quite a challenge <coughs> if you are stuck in a jam. In a way, yes, yeah. definitely. But yeah. actually, right, like what Tom says, uh, once you're accustomed to it, right, mm. it's, it's it's a very small thing. Yeah, second nature. Very small thing. Yeah, correct, correct, yeah. correct. But that that is provided you have that familiarity mm. with your car's uh, clutch biting mm. point. That, that familiarity is very important for yeah. you to establish. Yeah. I'm always worried like I'll go into stall. Mm. Yeah. That's when you don't determine the clutch bike point though. I think mm. this is a very important tip. I mean every time you get into a new car or any car, mm. try to determine the clutch bike point. Yeah. Mm. I think it's it's a good idea to drive around in let's say like a, in a in a in a in a slow car flat park. You know, a car park just to Familiarize just to get to know the cars, the, the clutch behavior characteristics. Mm. All you can do is stationary, you know, with the first gear in and your foot, right foot on the brakes, mm. release the clutch slowly mm. and see where the clutch mm. starts to bite. Correct. Yeah. Mm. That would be, that would also help allow you to shift better because mm. then you know where the dead zone is. Mm. Yes. And you don't go through that. You mm. don't have to, to depress the clutch pedal fully, in fact. Yeah. So Con brought up a, a point mm. earlier where the foot rest is actually an important aspect mm. of an annual Absolutely. transmission car. It's not just there for show or for you to distract. It's not a fourth pedal, right? It's not a fourth pedal, yeah. <laughs> so the, that, that, that foot rest actually helps not just to avoid your left foot riding on the clutch for no reason. Yeah. It also helps you to brace your legs against mm. In the, the car. event of an emergency break. Yeah. Because you need that, that foot to hold. Yeah. Mm. Or for, for a high purpose would be to determine, you know, um, or to better judge the car in a corner or whatever. Correct. Mm. Yeah. Correct. You think a manual can show well? Huh? Yeah, yeah, manual. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah.